All right, friends and family. Um, Cheryl and I have been in the South now for about a year. One of the things that I've realized that I absolutely love, one of the dishes when it comes to food, is grits. I freaking love grits. So I'm gonna explain to you how we make grits in the South, because no Southern, you know, self-respecting Southerner would ever use instant grits. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now what we have here is the finished product which is unfair to the cooking community, I get it. But here's what we do. Now grits is a three, I'm sorry, a four to one ratio. So one cup of uh, stone ground grits to four cups of cold water. Mix them together and then you turn the heat on. So see, don't mix the grits into the boiling water. You wanna start with cold water. So grits into the pan, four cups of cold water into the pan, turn the heat on and uh, bring it to a boil, and then just kind of let it set. Every little little while, you know, every couple of minutes you wanna give it a little bit of a stir because it's gonna thicken up, but look at that. That started out as like lit, loose cornmeal. But now we got some good cooked grits. I added salt and pepper because I like mine a little bit savory. Now, here's the, the trick to this, is you wanna add butter. Um, so I'm just gonna add a pat of butter to the grits there. And we're just gonna, you know, let that melt, and uh, we're gonna check back in here shortly. Put the lid on that, and let it set while that little pat of butter melts. All right. So last we checked in, I had just dropped a little pat of butter into the grits. It's been a few minutes, and I believe that we now have, oh, look at that, a puddle of butter. Oh, and then this just, oh, look at that. It just gets mixed in. We're just gonna mix that in. These are gonna be some buttery friggin' grits. I'm telling you, this is the best thing ever. It's the base of a couple of really fantastic dishes. Now, I like to pour this, whoops, I just sloshed some out on the stove top there. I like to put this into a uh, bread pan. Um, to, to, to save it, you know, for a couple of the, like the leftovers. I'll carve a piece off, carve a slice off, warm it up in the microwave and have grits for breakfast. Um, I'll do shrimp and grits, one of our favorite dishes. And that's going to be a video forthcoming. Um, I like cheese grits, so here in a minute I'll probably dump cup, cup and a half, you know, 8 to 12 ounces of whatever cheddar cheese. Uh, we might have, um, it'll still melt. Now this has been off the heat for a minute. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that when you're making the grits, you start with the uh, one cup of, eh, this is a generic recipe, one cup of grits, four cups of cold water, turn the heat on, bring it to a boil, and then shut the, wa the, heat, the heat off. Um, cover it and let it set, stirring it occasionally. That's how the grit, grits get cooked. It takes about 20 minutes, but, uh, that's how you cook grits. And then, of course, you drop that little pat of a quarter stick of butter in there. Um, let it melt. Um, and then from there, it's, it's really um, quite versatile as far as what can be done with these. Now, when I was a kid, we called this cornmeal mush because we didn't know any better. I think that if we had called it grits, it might have been a little bit more appealing the way. It, and of course, cornmeal mush is a little bit different than this. It's a different grind on the, on the corn. Um, this is a white um, stone ground kind of situation versus cor regular cornmeal, but it's the same kind of idea. Um, this is also the kind of thing that's used to make paella, that Spanish dish that you might have heard of. But anyway, I think I'm going to throw some cheese in this later, and uh, I'm going to have some grits for breakfast in the morning, warm it up. So uh, there you go. That's how you make basic Southern grits, because no self-respecting Southerner would ever use instant grits. There you go.